And so we have one more speaker that's going to share just a little bit um, of uh, overall overview, final remarks. Um, I'd like to introduce our final guest, Paul Drake. Paul currently serves as PSEG's public affairs manager. Paul earned his master's degree in city and regional planning from Edward Blau J. Blaustein School of Public of uh, Rutgers University, um, bachelor's of science degree in environmental science from Stockton University, and he has expertise as a professional planner, an environmental expert, an educator. He's worked for the National Park Service, the N New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, and the State Planning Commission, and now works at PSEG. So please just join me in giving a warm welcome to Paul Drake. Before lunch, I think, right? It's always a tough, tough thing. I want to say really great presentations today. They were unbelievable. Um, my name is Paul Drake. I, I do work for PSEG, so the name behind the, the company PSEG. We are a New Jersey company. Uh, we were founded in 1903 by our founder, Thomas McCarter. And what's interesting about that formation as a company was that in 1903, the flood of record on the Passaic River Basin dropped 11 and a half inches of rain in the city of Newark, about four months after Thomas McCarter founded PSEG and uh, consolidated 400 companies into one corporation. So you can imagine the time he probably asked himself, was this the right investment? Uh, but they, they certainly looked at infrastructure um, as a major component of you know, the growth of New Jersey. So I don't bring a slide presentation, but I did bring the biggest piece of show and tell. When you're done with lunch, you look out the back window and you will see one of our transmission towers. Uh, it's actually two. Um, they're transmitting electricity, over 500,000 volts of electricity. Um, you'll see that there's these discs that attach the wire to the pole. Those are insulator caps to try to keep the electricity from actually conducting to the pole itself. So it's kind of interesting. Anyway, so on behalf of PSEG, the PSEG Corporation and the PSEG Foundation, I'm greatly honored to provide these final remarks and would like to commend Montclair State University for its vision to establish the PSEG Institute for Sustainability Science Green Teams Program. What I heard today is an incredible. 50 of, of you are joining really the, the annuals of all the people who came before you in this great uh, opportunity to not only learn, but really to contribute. Um, at PSENG, we strive to implement our own vision where we are powering a future where we use less energy, it's cleaner, safer, and delivered more reliably than ever. But we also recognize the very real threat from the effects of climate change. With 2023 being the hottest year in all recorded history, and 2024 on pace to actually exceed it. I mean, think of that, think about that for a moment. We're on pace to exceed last year's hottest day, hottest year on record. And here we are today talking about these very important topics. Uh, but to combat these incredible challenges requires that we all work together as partners. And certainly as members of your respective green teams, you truly are a partner for a better planet. But as students, I want to challenge you with the words, and I, as a planner, um, I want to challenge you with the words of Daniel Burnham, who was a visionary planner uh, involved with the, re, uh, uh, the city of Chicago. And he said, I just use this, I like this quote, he said, make no little plans. They have no magic to stir men's blood and probably themselves will not be realized. Make big plans. Aim high in hope and work remembering that a noble logical diagram once recorded will never die but long after we are gone will be a living thing asserting itself with ever-growing insistency so as our industry continues to grow and transition and workforce needs change we are focused on the challenge to help create a cleaner energy future but really that means all of you that means reskilling our current workforce 
for the jobs of the future and recruiting new employees who can help rise to meet the challenges of tomorrow. Um, at PSENG, we've invested in new, smarter, and more reliable infrastructure, including energy efficiency programs and what we call the last mile improvements in reliable distribution to our homes and our businesses. Really, but to do this work uh, requires a dedicated team of professionals, including engineers, biologists, land use planners, to advise on how we best achieve and accomplish these goals while minimizing the impacts on the community and the natural environment. But we also need experts in public affairs and philosophy and, and communication so that we can convey these important messages to the public and many of them who are also our customers. So simultaneously, we're tasked with managing an extensive portfolio of land holdings, including hundreds of miles of transmission lines and transmission right-of-ways. These lines traverse some of the most rugged and sensitive lands in New Jersey. But we're proud to have adopted strategies to enhance the habitat values of these lands, not only for bees and pollinators, invertebrates like the monarch butterflies and the frosted elephant, reptiles like wood turtles and bog turtles and timber rattlesnakes, and birds like the golden-winged warbler and many more. But at the same time, the PSEG Foundation supports the mission of the company to positively impact communities and support with supporting programs that focus on social justice, environmental sustainability, and economic empowerment. But our focus on social responsibility and corporate citizenship is ingrained in our culture. We prioritize the well-being and safety and security of our employees. We foster diversity and inclusion and actively support the communities we serve. These partnerships and collaborations, through partnerships and collaborations, we have contributed to educational programs, workforce development, and community service activities. Really, at PSENG, this is an opportunity for us to meaningfully include the communities we serve, including those often marginalized in the things we do. Our longstanding partnership with Montclair State University is exemplary of the impact that we are taking in the communities we serve. The Green Team's program produces tangible work, tangible work products and recommendations to help numerous companies achieve a more sustainable future. As future leaders, this program will help you gain skills, skills that are important, that are transferable to employment opportunities. We all want jobs. Um, we trust that this experience will also inspire you to challenge the status quo. And while I ask you, while I asked you already to think big, uh, I want you to also remember the words of Margaret Mead who said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed individuals uh, change the world. In fact, it's the only thing that has ever has. So on behalf of PSEG and the PSEG Foundation, I want to thank you. I want to thank Montclair State University and Really, congratulations for being part of this incredible team, this green team. So I expect all of you to go out and do great things and think big, but also think about the power of your actions and think about how you can collaborate and work together with partnerships, with corporations, with companies, with the community, and all the people that you serve. And I'm sure mm -hmm. that we'll hear in, in, in 10 weeks or so, we're here, we're going to be here, and you'll have great things to present. So work hard and take great advantage of this opportunity uh, because these are the things that really help you know, save the planet. Thank you. So we're thinking big, we're thinking long-term, 100 years, we're thinking locally, we're thinking through an environmental justice and a social justice lens. Um, and I think that's what all of you have in your assignments for the summer already. So I think it's going to be a, a really great um, summer, and I hope everyone comes back for our final presentations. I have just a couple slides of thank yous that I um, need to share with you. So we have partners um, in our leadership um, that help support me. I'd like to recognize our project managers and our assistant project managers who've been through the program, but now they're um, in um, leadership roles, so management roles. I'd also like to um, thank and recognize our Kansas State folks. Um, 
So we have, as I mentioned, two professors, Dr. Arya Yumpanen and Jeremy Cowan, Dr. Jeremy Cowan, and we have two graduate students with us whom I think you'll get a chance to meet today, Charles Carpenter and Jamie Bo Bobadilla Suero. They'll be accompanying our students to Kansas this summer. We also would like to um, acknowledge all of those who are guiding our students. Um, we have some staff members who help to guide on various areas from um, food to data, data analytics and writing. We also work with Montclair State University's um, counseling program and we have counselors that um, help with team dynamics in a professional way. And so we're very happy to have them join us today. We'd also like to thank our funders. Um, we've been very um, grateful and, and lucky to have been funded by corporate foundations, but also federal sources like the National Science Foundation, USDA, and NASA, as well as um, other companies and organizations um, outside the university, like Constellation, the Northern New Jersey Community Foundation, DSM Fermanage. And then in, inside the university, we're grateful to the Dean, the College of Science and Mathematics, and um, also the Office of the Provost. So I'd like to thank you for joining us today. And um, this will end our program for those who are joining us virtually. Thank you so much.